All right, what's up, guys? This video I'm going to show you how do you set up your Unify uh, controller on your uh, on Raid Box. I was curious. I'm using a uh, what is it? Dell Optiplex. Also, uh, do yourselves a favor, guys, and honest, just get yourself a cloud key. Um, I just sold mine. This is all temporary to use. Uh, Unif on Raid, it's not fun at all. Very problematic, but simple workaround. When I close on my house, I'm going to get myself a um, what is it called? Uh, uh, Dream Machine Pro. So anyway, uh, what you're gonna do, um, go to apps, and you will search for Unify. And I'm gonna rant for a sec, guys, because, like I said, this is not a fun process. Because uh, I don't know about this one, this one here, and this one. The people who make this, they're they're stupid. I'm sorry, but I'm. These people are really, really stupid. I, I don't understand what they were doing. Uh, this was the old one, but now that they Unify switched to a network application, um, they created this new version, and it needs to, you will have to separately install a MongoDB server, and I'm just like, what in the world? Um, and then I stumbled upon, after dealing with like hours figuring this out, I stumbled upon this one, the Unify Controller Reborn. Somebody created it, cannot recommend this enough, so you just click on, well, you would install it, and it's going to show up in your doc, Docker section. Um, and also, just got to shout this out here, because if you click here, you can go straight into the web UI. The other Unify apps that were out there, they did not have this little button. I mean, seriously, I don't know what they were thinking, but anyway... I just got to rant that. It's not a fun process. So you launch into the web UI. I opened it up, and then boom, I was here. I restored from a backup, so yeah, there's that. And then um, I noticed something. When you go to Unify Devices, you will see something say adopting endlessly. Another step you have to do to set things up, guys, you have to go here to settings. Um, you go to systems. You go to advanced. And I'm going to scroll here. Where is it? Where is it? Here, inform host, check mark this, and you're going to put the IP address of what the Unraid box is, which is the 1.2. Um, this is going to be needed, so this way uh, your, devi your unified device, your, your controller, will be able to read stuff off the network. Um, and it was like stuck in adopting forever. So once you set that setting in inform, you're just going to go here to restart the, um, the Docker, and you are good to go. Uh, two things. When I did a restore, obviously, I just, I'm just i sure if you guys have ran into this, I didn't know what my password was. So I'm going to put a link to this uh, quick little guide on how do you reset the password. Um, if you guys need help doing that, all you would do to run these commands you would go to the Docker here, you'd go to, you know, click that Reborn and go to Console. And here's where you can paste those commands and, and etc. So do that and you should be golden. Second thing to note, you're not running the latest and greatest. Again, this is sort of like an open source project. So this could break any time with any update. So I can't stress this enough. You want to go do a, when everything is good to the way you want it, you will want to go to system and you know get get a backup and just download a, a backup of a, your config file. This is going to save you time and hassle too because again you 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 don't want to hit the reset switch on all of these devices. It's just not fun and it's just one of those things to just bear in mind. But anyway, yeah, I hope this guy this this is helpful for you guys and let me know um, if anything I can help. Other than that, yep.